guys, welcome to my channel, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another unboxing video and this is an unboxing of Jean Howe um, fountain pen so anyway, I'm still discovering which will make me comfortable with regards to fountain pens so in this journey process, I'm showing to you those fountain pens that I'm trying out, okay? So by that with that being said, okay, I will just go ahead and now unbox this parcel that I have here. Right, so I will unbox this now. Um, let's see, figure out where will I choose to open it up. So I chose this part. By the way, I got this from the same seller um, where I purchased my Snoopy fountain pen and the Canwrite fountain pens. So anyway, I'm kind of hesitant to buy stuff from this seller because I don't really have a good experience with the Canwrite. So what I bought now is kind of like, um, what do you call this? Kinda like the Conrite that I bought, but different brand. And it also has a bent, bent nib, just like my thumb lid um, fountain pen. So bent nib is like this. Don't know if you can see. <laughs> okay, it doesn't focus. Anyway, I'll just show it to you later. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, I have to grab my cutter, because I can't um, use scissors for this. have to be careful which is the opening I'm confused so I think this is the opening part okay so this is where I will open this up now let me check what I got here oops still stuck yeah, it's okay now. So, I just move the box away. And see what we have. So, I ad admire that, you know, this seller actually uh, make an effort to box my product. Because some sellers doesn't do that, basically. Wow. And another bubble wrap. So, by the way, okay, I'll just discuss this later. Okay, was that I showed to you this item all right so you may have an idea why <laughs> later okay once that you see the color because you will be shocked with the color guys um basically guys i didn't choose the color first of all and the reason why it's pink because it's the only one that has a bent nib that was attached to it okay oops just make it focused Oh dear, you can't focus, so I just go ahead and set up the camera later. <laughs> so there you go. So anyway, um, that's the reason why I purchased this pen, because of the reason that it has a bent nib attached to it, and it's only pink that has this attached. That's why I have no choice but to actually purchase this pink uh, fountain pen. So far, it's heavy, okay? That's the reason why I would... I had double think on purchasing this product because first of all, I felt more comfortable with a thin pen like this, okay? And compare that with this one that I got now. If this is much more heavier compared to this one, but both feels like solid, okay? And both has bent nibs. Anyway, so this is actually Jin Hao X450 
fountain pen and it's heavy it's weighing heavy on the cover part of the pen itself so here is the details so this is the clip of the pen it's gold and here written Jin Jin Hao and there it says X for 50 and there on the other side has a gold design detail and then you open it like this and as you can see this is what I like the grip this is very important for me because I'm just a newbie in using fountain pens and basically I I'm not quite sure how to hold um, the fountain pens but since I'm I'm a beginner the grip is important <laughs> I have to keep on repeating myself sorry so that's what um, if ever you're a newbie take note on the grip part it's very important that you have a guides wherein wherein you will touch your pen okay so so far without the cover it's okay to actually um what they call this right with it without the cover on top but if there's a cover it doesn't pose guys it doesn't you have to actually force it but it's not advisable because first of all you will damage this part okay so it's better while you're using your fountain pen don't actually post the cover here okay don't do that it will not be comfortable to touch so here is how it looks like and don't know if you can see the details and it says there Jin Hao 18 I can I can read 18k I think is what's written there and GP <laughs> I don't know what that means guys okay so let's see what's inside so I know that it's secure compared to my thumb lip so I will just um sunlit okay compared to my thumb lip it's better with regards to the screw I will tell that later okay so anyway let's see how this works so We will do this to the converter <laughs> to gain some ink. I can hardly speak, my gosh. So, is there something written there? Um, no? I don't know if you can see. But there's something written there. It, it says Jin Hao again. My gosh. don't know if you can see. There. <laughs> Finally, you can see. Um, anyway, the comparison here is that's my problem with this fountain pen. I wasn't able to show in my last unboxing. Okay, so this one has an ink, so I have to be careful. Um, actually, this part where the screw is, um, it's really loose. That's the reason why I have to put a rubber on this part so that it's secure. And that's my problem with this um, fountain pen that I have here. But it works very fine, really. I, I like it. One of my favorite. But I don't find it um, that much um, perfect because of the reason that that's the screw part here is a mess. And let's see if this will be <laughs> the best option. And anyway... And just go ahead and fill this up with ink so that we can try it out so by the way if you're interested with this product i'll share you the link down below and of course i'll show this to you guys okay all right so i set up my place okay so anyway Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to bring in that some tissue paper. <laughs> Alright, so I have it all prepared. I finally have a paper towel. So we're going to fill this up with some ink. And I'm, I'm choosing Diamine Blue Black ink. So let's place this aside. 
and just go ahead and give this pen some ink so that we can test this out and I'm using the converter oh I didn't get some ink I think I have to actually let it dip oh my gosh it, it can't get any why <laughs> weird I'll try again still until now it's not working interesting don't know why it's not working supposedly it should be working hmm it doesn't work This is weird. I don't know why the converter doesn't work. See, it didn't get any ink. See? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm wondering why. Just try again. Still doesn't get oh there is there's some ink but only few I don't know what's going on with this one but it only get a few inks inside but still there's an ink this is interesting I don't know what happened why it only have few inks okay so I have a lot of ink on my <laughs> on my fingers anyway sorry that it's messy so i will just close this up only got few inks um so far with the performance i don't like it okay i don't know if i, I did it um correctly really oh what's going on it doesn't actually um Let's go ahead and do this, okay? This is interesting. There you go. I'm just you in doing this, gosh. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. And I have a lot of inks on my hand. Anyway, I'll just wash my hands, okay? Because I had a lot of ink on my hand. And I have to actually place a cover so it won't dry out. Anyway, I just go ahead and wash my hands. Alright, so I was able to wash my hands but still the ink is there. <laughs> I have inky fingers now. So anyway, let's test this um, fountain pen if it will write well so far in filling up this one. I don't know if I got it right in regards to the filling. But so far I don't like it, okay, because of the reason that it only got few, few inks and my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> Why is it spinning? So yeah, it got only few inks. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, only few, very few. But I know there's an ink there. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to write with it, okay? So first of all, let's test. Again, I have inky fingers. First of all, let's test how it writes. So first of all, I'm going to test the, the bent nib here. So this part, okay, the white one. So far, it's so inky. And then the other side. Okay, the light part. Can try by that. I think it doesn't write. 
doesn't want to write that way so there you go but it skips so that's the difference and then I'm just going to write with this part the white one I will write Jin Hao X450 and then the name of the ink Diamine Blue Black So it's very big in the writing. Okay, I'll make it comp. I will show to you the difference between Jin Hao and my sun sunlit. Okay, so it's like the sunlit so far because it writes neatly. Don't know if I got it right. Oops. <laughs> Okay, that's the sunlit. There you go. Just oops. This one is diamine. a hard time to use it I forgot what this is called chocolate I know chocolate see the difference if I got it right with the writing so let's see about the chin how the other area it's a thin part so I'm just going to try it hard to write. I just need to figure out which is the soft part. Oops, that's the wrong part. I'm writing with the one that's wider. Oops, wrong spelling. <laughs> Um, I don't like it so far. It's not. It doesn't write smoothly, to be honest, and I'm not that comfortable with heavy pens. I just tried it out if I will like the grip part. Okay, the grip part is very important for me, and I thought that this will come in handy because this one looks like um solid this part because with this one I still sleep. Okay, my fingers still sleep with this kind of grip, okay? Um, let's see if I can work it out. So, with regards to... It's so wet. I think for Jin how it's better if you don't have um, that much watery ink. Um... Maybe you need some ink that's not like this, okay? Can be something that can dry fast for Jin Hao because if it's too watery, it will waste a lot of ink. Okay, and it's too it's too thick compared to this one. See? It's like an ordinary ball pen. Before I can write by by the thickness, 
Okay, maybe I'm losing it the wrong way. So try again. Hmm, where is the other part? became normal <laughs> okay so I'm not yet an expert with regards to fountain pens I'm still figuring this out okay so so far I don't like this one because it's very hard to work on too like you actually I can actually discover which is the part that's the thin part so that if it can't write reverse well, it can but it skips it writes but it takes a lot of ink see and it skips so I don't know with this one but there's the thick part I found it not to that the good there's a good inflow with this one so um my review for this basically i I don't like it okay to be honest with you um I just like the design okay the color I don't know um because I didn't choose the color if ever I will choose I will choose white definitely because it represents my channel okay and what I am <laughs> as a person so definitely a heavy pen really and if you're a fan of let's say this kind of writing that has big um, bold letters then go for this okay Jane how x40 I'm sorry x450 with bent nymp um, but it's not advisable for people who's actually saving inks because of the reason that this um, pen really drains a lot of ink each time you write with it okay compare with um, with this one actually why is it it has less ink now because I have been using it for work okay so definitely this is a good buy the sand it's still but comparing the price this one is cheaper okay it does it didn't reach at least a hundred almost a hundred because it's 99 pesos Philippine pesos what I'm trying to say okay but this one I spent about 500 plus Philippine peso for this one and actually for the value of money um, even though this one has a problem with a screw here it's okay it's workable okay but budget wise this is actually a great pen a good um, pen to work with okay like it you can make it like a ball pen kind of fountain pen <laughs> okay um, Anyway, so my insight with regards to the grip. So I will just test the grip again. Just try to write with the grip. Okay. Actually, the grip feels okay for me, but I don't like the way that um, this pen really made me spend a lot of um, ink in each, um, in each letter. So this is a wet writer. Um, fountain pen so you will need to put an ink that's not that watery because diamond is kind of watery um, ink that doesn't dry that that fast okay and obviously it marks the back because this is not actually a paper for fountain pens that's what I'm going to say but um, Look at that, this paper can actually handle <laughs> the fountain pen, even though it's not for that. Um, anyway, for me, sound it's still the best for me. Like, it really depends on what you want, because my hand is small and I don't really work well with, um, what you call this, heavier pens and bigger pens. So, that's why this is really comfortable to use I just test this out give it a try if I will still like a pen with this um, structure okay but really for the second time <laughs> I didn't like it okay I guess I will just resell it online because I will not use it anyway 
So anyway, really depends to you what you like. Okay, but I feel like most um, people that what they call this that can handle this kind of pen, they will like Jane Howe, right? But yeah, it's actually comfortable in the, with the grip thing, to be honest. But the trouble here is that it's really watery. That's why you don't like it, especially if you're using an ink that um, doesn't dry fast. So, anyway, with that being said, I think I'm done with the unboxing, <laughs> okay? So, so far with my review, I think uh, this is not a good review for Jin How I just um, put out there an honest review with this one and I don't know why the converter didn't work that well. I'm actually I'm so surprised with it okay this is the first time I encounter a converter that didn't actually get a lot of ink and I find it so interesting why <laughs> why did I grab a lot of ink okay I don't know if I did the wrong thing but yeah that's also the thing why I don't like it so I think um, with regards to the brands, because I have a bad experience with Jane Howe now, I think I will not go for Jane Howe. <laughs> Alright, I'm just so glad that um, I opened up this pen I tried. At least I'm aware now um, which pen works for me. Okay, so still I'm waiting for some fountain pens that I ordered online and yeah, this is actually my second pen nib that I ordered. I also ordered ordered um so something that's different from this one it's kind of like um a plastic fountain pen that has a bent nib i really like bent nibs um starting when i discovered this one when i tried this really i got addicted to it and i'm the reason why i'm purchasing another bent nib is because when i watch this one i want a spare one Okay, so while this is drying up, I ha still have a bent nib that I'm using, okay? So, that's my spare bent nib. So far, I will not take it as my spare because first of all, it didn't work fine for me, okay? It didn't match my standards, so yeah, I will just resell that. And the good thing is that I purchased another, so I hope that that other bent nib um, fountain pen will work fine for me, okay? So anyway, if you're interested with this one, I'll put the link down below. I can also where I purchase it. I'll show that to you. Okay, so with that being shown, I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, with the testing thing. Really forgive my handwriting, guys. I'm not into um, calligraphy yet. I just purchased pens so that I will be able to use it for work. Okay, because of the reasoning that I want to replace my ball pens, okay, ballpoint pens, because this one doesn't write when I drop it. And I'm not a fan of gel pens, guys, to be honest with you, um, because of the reason that it mark um, on this side of the paper. But with the discovery of this, um, some of the fountain pens, actually, they didn't uh, mark at the what they call this at the back of the paper like it really depends on the ink that your pen released so far the sunlit works well for me see it works well compared to the Jin Hao and that's the reason why I really don't like the Jin Hao um, X450 the one that I reviewed now because yeah it's a waster of ink <laughs> as you can see here okay but if you're a fan of Jean, how I think this is a great addition for the collection, just to show. <laughs> but for use, no. I don't like it for the show. <laughs> really, it's my perspective, but it really depends on you guys, okay? And so is there anything else? Okay. So what's important is, okay, you're hearing my review, at least you're aware which fountain pen is good. Okay, so I don't know if all the Jean Howe pens has this kind of um, 
Bini Bowen in, you know, it will actually release a lot of ink. Hmm. But I don't want to risk again to buy another Jin Hao because of what I experienced now. So, so far, I may not try any Jin Hao pen anymore. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, guys, I hope that this um, unboxing gives you some insight and comparison and send you all peace, love, and light. Bye.